verfolge es schon seit fast 20 Jahren. I've been following this project for almost 20 years now and I found it a bold idea. It's a courageous undertaking and fits with the people of our region. Weil Stuttgart diese einmalige Chance verdient hat, weil es eine große Stuttgart deserves this unique chance. There will be fantastic urban development and our engineers and skilled craftsmen can show what they are capable of. Die Chance werden wir nie mehr bekommen und deshalb möchte ich schließen. We'll never get a chance like this again and that is why Stuttgart 21 has to go ahead. We'll have a new district in the city in a few decades. Und ich denke, für den Nahverkehr bieten sich da erhebliche Chancen. I think this will provide great opportunities for local transport. And to me as a rail user, that is of course important. Weil neben vielen positiven Aspekten vor allen Dingen der Architektur... In addition to the many positive aspects, I think the Ingenhoven design is particularly successful. And it will be fascinating to see the connection with the Bonatz building. Das ist eine sehr große Chance. Und wenn Sie das alles This is an outstanding opportunity. And when you look at it as a whole, you begin to realize that this is a quantum leap in quality that only occurs very, very rarely in a city. The Stuttgart Ulm Rail Project really affects people's emotions. Its advantages in terms of transport, urban development, ecology and economy make it the largest project for the future in Baden-Württemberg. But what exactly does it involve? To answer these questions, we have to turn the clock back a few years. A new high-speed line was built between Mannheim and Stuttgart between 1976 and 1991. The federal government soon realized that it would have to be extended eastwards to cope with the forecast growth in traffic. It was obvious that private motorized traffic around Stuttgart had reached the limits of its capacity. This applied to both the road and rail networks. That's why it was so important for the Stuttgart region to become involved in the transport plans and ideas from Deutsche Bahn and the Federal Ministry of Transport when they were reorganizing the high-speed network between Cologne and Munich. As a high-capacity mass transport mode, rail is the only way to remedy the constant road congestion resulting from the increase in private car traffic but it has to become more attractive. For example, with new high-speed lines, attractive timetables with frequent departures, direct connections with no transfers, and new stations to make it more quickly accessible. In other words, you have to be able to reach the destination of your choice quickly, reliably and comfortably. These are absolutely central requirements to make rail more attractive and connect the different transport modes in an optimal way. The largest upgrading project for rail transport in Baden-Württemberg began in 1995 as a competition of ideas. Stuttgart and Ulm were to be integrated in the European high-speed network. The new build line was to run parallel to the A8 motorway. The run-down central station in Stuttgart was to be modernized and linked to Stuttgart Airport. These were the terms of the competition which attracted over 60 entries. After more than 200 public debates, hundreds of public hearings, more than 37,000 objections, high court rulings and majority decisions by all the bodies involved, the Stuttgart Ulm Rail project finally proved to be the best and most sensible solution. The concept breaks down into two different sections. Stuttgart 21 for refurbishment of the Stuttgart Rail Hub and construction of a new high-speed line from Wendlingen to Ulm. This involves the construction of three new railway stations in Stuttgart and a circular railway line, most of which will be routed underground. The present terminus station is to be turned by 90 degrees and converted into a more efficient through station, a step that is quite obviously necessary. The Encyclopedia of Rail states unequivocally that terminus stations are more complicated to operate and that the remaining terminus stations in Germany should therefore gradually be replaced by through stations. 
In other words, this is not a new discovery of the 20th or 21st century, but something that was realized far earlier. The conversion will provide various advantages. The terminus station in Stuttgart, the track facilities, bridges and tunnels have become more and more run down during the almost 100 years since they were built. The entire facility has also reached the limits of its capacities as the approach and departure tracks cross over one another and obstruct train movements. Moreover, the huge station throat divides two parts. The many changes resulting from Stuttgart 21 will enable trains to enter the station at higher speeds, will allow higher line speeds, new direct connections and shorter distances for passengers transferring to S-Bahn and Stadtbahn services. This will also have a positive effect on potential delays. It should simply be noted that the station itself will be capable of remedying delays. For you, this means more reliable timetables, fewer transfers, shorter distances, better access to the trains, new departure and destination points, and shorter journey times. In other words, the Stuttgart Ulm Rail project is a huge construction project that is the first of this kind ever to be conducted in Germany. It will provide fast local transport services for the metropolitan region of Stuttgart, fast regional transport for Baden-Württemberg, one of the most powerful federal states in Germany, and a new European rail hub for Germany. And these are only some of the advantages. The rail project will entail great benefits for you and Baden-Württemberg in four more areas. Transport, urban development, ecology and economy. The transport benefits are, of course, not restricted to the advantages already mentioned. In future, you will be able to reach Stuttgart Airport and the Fulda region quickly and easily, unlike today, when there is no direct connection and the traffic congestion in Stuttgart city centre is a real nuisance. There will be no fewer than 160 trains a day to and from the airport, including S-Bahn trains. Even if it may not seem logical at first glance, a rail project is also of great importance to an airport. Planes and trains are not competitors. That is why we see our market potential in areas that cannot be reached quickly by train. We do not regard rail as a competitor, and that's why we support it. Last but not least, we are also upgrading the line up the Alp Hills. The 70,000 horsepower trains, which now struggle uphill at maximum speeds of 70 km an hour, will soon be replaced by ICEs traveling at 250 km an hour. In the European context, the Stuttgart Ulm Rail project is also a major milestone on the corridor from Paris to Budapest, which is of great importance not only for the population of these two cities. The key thing is that there are many attractive segments along this line. Service from Paris to Karlsruhe, Nancy to Stuttgart, Strasbourg to Augsburg. You could extend the list to Bratislava and Budapest. For this line to be effective as a whole, it has to be upgraded along its entire length. It's rather like a rapid transit system. A fully developed line is required even if any given passenger uses only one section and nobody travels all the way from one end to the other. Baden-Württemberg is situated right in the center of Europe, has a strong focus on exports, and is naturally interested in having attractive transport connections with neighboring countries. But the Stuttgart Ulm Rail project also offers immense benefits in terms of urban development. The new through station designed by architect Christoph Ingenhoven has already won many awards thanks to the intelligent overall concept. Light eyes admit daylight into the new platform hall and ventilation is provided by the trains as they arrive and depart, an innovative and energy-saving concept which means that the new underground station does not need any artificial air conditioning or heating. The architect has also succeeded in creating a unique mix of modern and traditional architectural styles because the old Bornatz building will not be demolished but will be retained as an entrance area. 
I didn't think they would choose the Ingenhofen entry in the urban development competition. I find it bold, I find it terrific, and apart from all the other advantages of S21, the architectural design is something I just can't wait to see finished. Another new feature is that the new station will be barrier-free and provide easy access for people with restricted mobility. There will be three main levels from which you can exit the station in all different directions, and that is also new. You can come out at ground level into the new Europa district and the city center. Lifts will ensure barrier-free access to the new central station. This means there will be far more possibilities for people with restricted mobility to reach the platforms. This is a unique opportunity for us to be really involved, to have our say, and not simply to accept a project that has already been completed. Another major advantage of the Stuttgart Ulm Rail project in terms of urban development is that it will get rid of the old station throat, which meanwhile takes up an area of 100 hectares, a huge plot of land that is largely unused and that splits Stuttgart into two halves, obstructing development of the best districts in the city. There is no area anywhere at the Stuttgart city centre level that is more beautiful and open, with such wonderful views across the countryside and the Neckar Valley. 100 years ago, there were still huge parks here, in the former Fresh Air district. Right from the start, this was not only a royal park, but a park for the people. It has been praised in countless works and songs since the early 19th century. It has always been extremely popular with the local population, and it helped to establish Stuttgart's reputation as a highly respected garden city. The name actually comes from Stuttengarten, which means the garden around the stud farm. Today, huge track areas crisscross the city centre at heights of up to 70 metres. And now imagine that all these tracks suddenly disappear from this site in the north of the city centre, so that it becomes available for development. The barrier vanishes and the city can suddenly begin to develop around the park. That is a fantastic opportunity. In other words, a project in which we regain an original, beautiful and ideal form, and you could say one which enables an ideal combination of our future and our heritage. Stuttgart City Council purchased this site years ago so that it could be redesigned in consultation with you, with public participation in a form which is unique in Baden-Württemberg. This site can be used to provide affordable housing, offices and premises for the service sector for up to 35,000 people right in the city centre. The site will not be used for industrial companies, that much is clear, not next to such a beautiful park. It will definitely be used for urban housing and cultural amenities, simply because these sites are particularly suitable for such purposes in Stuttgart. Relocating the tracks underground or alongside the motorway has another major advantage for the population. A drastic reduction in noise pollution from trains. There will be no more noise from trains arriving and departing in the city centre, which will improve the quality of life in the Stuttgart region. Last but not least, Schlossgarten and Rosenstein Park will grow by approximately 20 hectares. This is a great gain for the people of Stuttgart and generous compensation for the impact on Schlossgarten. What's more, the number of new trees will be far higher than the number cut down. All these measures are visible ecological aspects of the project. Moreover, S21 and the new build line will shift traffic from road to rail in this age of climate change. Stuttgart 21 alone will save the need for 18 million passenger trips per annum. This is equivalent to around 350 million kilometers by car and annual savings of around 70,000 tons of carbon dioxide. The entire Stuttgart-Ulm rail project will actually save 1 billion car kilometers per annum. 
But does this make Stuttgart 21 an ecological project? It is very eco-friendly because we will create faster rail connections, giving people the chance to switch from road to rail. The new open spaces in Stuttgart will also be an eco-friendly aspect, improving local public transport, connecting the Filder region, not because of the airport, but because of the 250,000 people who live there. So this project has many eco-friendly aspects. Last but not least, the Stuttgart Ulm Rail project also means high economic benefits for the population of Stuttgart, Baden-Württemberg and the whole of Germany. The sums invested in Stuttgart 21 and the new line are an economic stimulus for the region. During the construction phase alone, 7,000 new skilled jobs will be created. Over the long term, that figure will be as high as 10,000. These are jobs which feed families, pay social security contributions and raise taxes. The advantage of this project is that all the skilled trade sectors will benefit from it. At first, those trades which actually construct the buildings. Think of all the thousands who will work here and become residents of Stuttgart over the next 10 years. They will shop at our bakers and butchers and go to our barbers. There is not a single sector in the city that will not profit from this project. The financing agreement states that Baden-Württemberg has to assume a share of 1.88 billion euros of the total costs of 7 billion euros that will be spread over 10 years. To put that figure into perspective, the annual economic output of Baden-Württemberg is 345 billion euros. Baden-Württemberg pays more into the federal lender fiscal equalization fund every year than the costs of this project. The land will recoup a third of the investments in terms of turnover and income tax during construction. Another factor that has to be borne in mind is that Baden-Württemberg exports infrastructure to countries all over the world and is the leading federal state in that respect. A state-of-the-art, ecological and efficient railway station is thus of prime importance for its image worldwide. So, for you, the Stuttgart Ulm Rail project means more than just a station conversion project or a few new tracks in Baden-Württemberg. The rail project is, above all, a great leap forward into the future to increase Baden-Württemberg's competitive edge in terms of infrastructure, economy and ecology. Even if the results will not be visible until 2019, it's important to recognize the potential and opportunities of this project right now, so that the vision of the largest rail project in Baden-Württemberg does not remain merely a vision, but becomes reality. <laughs>